Hello there, this is the first video in a series of videos that we're doing on life hacks for those with ND conditions or neurodivergent conditions. I've got ADHD and I've got two children with autism and ADHD and so basically what I'm going to be sharing with you over this next week are some life hacks that you can either use for yourself if you've got ND uh, or an ND condition um, or use to support your clients that you're working with. One big caveat with this is that ND conditions, they present differently in different people. So these are just things that I've learned from experience, either working with clients or to help myself basically to live a bit more uh, successfully or happily for want of a better word. So today's first life hack is gonna be about whiteboards. So over here, I have a whiteboard. It's just a little magnetic whiteboard. Um, I use whiteboards loads to basically get my get, um, head in gear because um, I forget an awful lot of stuff due to my ADHD. So currently um, our family rabbit is on lots of different sorts of medication. So this allows me to remember what medication that I need to give the rabbit and when when I'm looking after him. It's also got the PSI for my motorbike because um, I often forget the PSI for the tires for the bike and it helps remind me to do that. Now, it's just a little magnetic whiteboard. It literally just lives on the fridge like that. But I also use other whiteboards as well. I've got a slightly larger whiteboard that I use for my day-to-day -day work tasks. And what I do there is I write down everything that needs to be done. And when new jobs come in that I need to do or new tasks to kind of keep things moving forward, I basically write a list of what I need to do. Then what I'll also do is prioritize those tasks. So I color code it, um, but what I also do is asterisk things. So when I'm looking to do my tasks that given day, I will put an asterisk next to things that I need to get done and allocate time for each one of those tasks. What this allows me to do is to prioritize and be able to work out what's the most important thing. It also stops me avoiding the things that I don't really want to be doing, the things that I procrastinate about. So for example, I will probably more likely want to shoot a video than maybe go and do the Excel spreadsheets that I've got to do. Now that's just me. I've got another friend of mine who's got ADHD, also works in education, and what she prefers to do is to do things like the Excel spreadsheets and the actual those of tasks so that's the other thing to be mindful of when you're working with your clients or even supporting yourself the different people prefer to do different things i know it sounds quite obvious but it's worth remembering um, anyway so i hope that's useful i think whiteboards are absolutely fantastic um, they're really helpful to keep things on track to help you remember things particularly if you've got adhd we also use whiteboards, however, in our client work in terms of action plans. So um, what we might do is a careers uh, mind map of ideas or different routes or possibilities or do some career mapping on a whiteboard. And then what we'll also do is actually when it comes to the action planning, make the actual put or put the actual action points on the whiteboard. And then the clients we're working with will take a photo of that whiteboard and that will be their action plan because for some clients that is the most client-centered thing for them because they will then keep that action plan on the actual phone that they've got and many of the clients we've worked with have said they prefer that because they're going to keep it with them particularly if they also have nd conditions now the caveat with that is that my handwriting isn't that good as you can see from up there from the whiteboard behind me. So when we're doing that, what we might often do is actually let the clients write on the whiteboard and actually do it together and we'll co-construct together. And they will write in their handwriting what the action points are, but also in colors that work for them as well. So they might have favorite colors that they want to use or will prefer using because they find it easy to read, particularly if they have another ND condition like dyslexia or something like that, having a, a preferred color is really important to check in with them so of course when we're doing the mind mapping or the career mapping i'll also ask clients what color would you prefer or um, would you prefer a color pen or not now of course um, we also have clients who might be colorblind and might also prefer particular colors as well in terms of um, what works best for them so lots of ideas there to help you i hope that helps you if you do have an nd condition uh, but also if you haven't got an nd condition many of these life hacks are suitable for you as well okay all the best